What's up guys, Alex of Baseball Cards AF. Joined with me is Holly. Holly. She don't care. Anyway, um, card show pickup, but I'm labeling this as uh, Topps Heritage 2019 because uh, a kind individual, um, he opened up quite a bit and he had a lot of the cards that I was wanting to get from this Heritage collection. The only ones I'm missing are the uh, 400 level Cardinal cards. So if you guys have any of the 400 numbered or up um, Cardinal cards, I'm missing I think six. So I'll uh, show off what ones I've got and uh, what I was able to pick up for five dollars. This whole stack was five bucks. So anyway, these first two, and I didn't notice the corners a little bit dinged up, but that's okay. Um, we've got then and now Bob Gibson, Max Scherzer, and a then and now Bob Gibson, Max Scherzer. Um, these ones are numbered 1 and 13, the end caps of this uh, set. And I thought it was really cool that they uh, they used uh, Mad Max and Gibby um, as their end caps. So they got their kind of pitching variation and then kind of a posed look. So those are pretty clean. Really like those. Um, next are the cheesy sporting news inserts here. Um, they are, let's see, I believe... 350 to 370 or so is what these are numbered for the Topps Heritage. Um, so we've got Goldschmidt, we've got Bryce, we've got Matt Kemp, Nolan Arenado. Congratulations on your arbitration deal. We got Javier Baez, Mr. Freddie Freeman, Wilson Contreras, Mad Max with his uh, heterochromia eyes. We got J.D. Martinez smirking over. Uh, we've got The Fish. We've got The Judge All Rise. Jose Mar Ramirez. Goodness gracious, I almost said Martinez. My apologies. Uh, Manny Machado in an in incorrect uniform now. And Salvador Perez. May his Tommy John go well. Um, best of luck, Perez, man. That's unfortunate. You're pretty much out for the year. But yeah, uh, sporting news. I love this set. I do have the full set now, I believe, with all these cards. They're cheesy, um, and I love it. I love the backs. Again, they're cheesy, and uh, I needed it. So um, the gentleman who helped me out, uh, thank you so much, man. Um, he has a website. I'm going to try to link in the description a little bit later. Um, check back if you guys are interested in um, helping out um, a friend of mine. Um, but anyhow, there's the Sporting News Heritage set that I was looking for, and then I've got then I've got some uh, Cardinals here. So we've got John Gant, we've got Jairo Munoz, Jairo, excuse me. Uh, we've got Edmundo Sosa and Adolis Garcia rookie card we've got Harrison Bader with the rookie um, trophy Darth Bader we've got Marcelo Zuna we've got Colton Wong Wong gone we've got uh, Jason Shreve Jack Flaherty Dexter Fowler We've got the National League home run leaders, Magic Carp down in the center here. Love that. Had to snag that one as well. Uh, we got Jose Martinez. And then we've got some non uniform Cardinal cards here. We've got Randall Grichik. We've got Luke Voigt. Here he's uh, doing big things in the Bronx. We've got Luke Weaver in his Diamondbacks uniform. Best of luck, Luke. We've got Tommy Pham, and last but certainly not least, and I saved this one for last just so I can give a little bit of history. Back in the day, I don't remember the player's name off the top of my head, but back in the day in 1970 set of tops, there was a Phillies pitcher who decided to wear some sunglasses, have a little bit of fun during the photo shoot, and they actually ended up putting it into the set by accident. Topps reached out to Nishik because they knew he was a baseball card collector um, and they wanted him to recreate this uh, this iconic card. 
So, um, they actually photoshopped these sunglasses on his face. He's not actually wearing those. They did that after the fact. Um, but it just so happens that Nishik is on the Phillies and uh, he is a pitcher. So it was a really cool homage. Um, and the cool thing is the original um, number 252, that is the number that was in the original um, 1970 set uh, that had the glasses on it. I wish I knew the guy's name off the top of my head. I do not. You guys can do a quick Google on it. But yeah, Beckett did a really cool story on that a little bit ago and I knew I had to get this one for sure. So anyway, um, that's going to be my 2019 Topps Heritage. Like I said, I'll put in the top comment pinned below um, which Cardinal cards I'm still missing from this set. But I'm pretty close to having the team set already done. And my insert sets are pretty much done. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You know the routine. As always, till next time. See ya.